first time. So by the way, good evening everyone and good uh, good evening everyone to the live stream of the uh, Facebook and uh, this uh, interesting and very uh, no, wonderful uh, seminars. Again, good evening for uh, good evening everyone. So this evening I will continue the topic of Mr. Fred Lapitan and Miss Christina Canino. So specifically this topic, you will learn something about what are the platforms or online platforms that we uh, that we can use this time of online class or this time of pandemic. As you can see, uh, the number one example of the online platforms are uh, is model. Number two is the big blue button. If you're familiar with model and the big blue button, then the Microsoft Teams and usually the, the Canva as a application or we can create a creative PowerPoint presentation using the Canva. And actually, we can use also the Prezi as a creative presentation during our online class or not only in online class, but also in our, uh, in our organization presentation. And actually, the, another uh, logo for Big Blue Button is Model Cloud then, uh, with blue bo- big blue button and the uh, other logo for the MS Teams so like this and those are the examples of the er- online learning platforms but in the Philippines we use the Phoenix Aralinks okay so let's start with number one example of the online learning platforms here in the Philippines so number one what is Aralinks Aralinks is a collaborative learning environment that allows both students and teachers to engage a virtual classroom in which lessons and assessment are empowered by immediate feedback and real-time response. Uh, later on, I will show you uh, what, uh, what are the examples or how the Aralinks uh, apply or how Aralinks help the students to engage this time of, uh, this time of online class. Next is, the goal of Phoenix is to promote 21st century learning through dynamic and effective synthesis of pedagogy, technology, and learning spaces. Uh, We as educators, we need to become more resourceful and effective educators. We cannot rely on one specific resources but the goal of this example of LNS is to promote the 21st century learning uh, process. Then there are three elements in using the Aralinks or Aralinks Phoenix. Number one, we help create a active, dynamic, and flexible collaborative learning environments where the students develop skills they need for work and for life. Actually, there is a application to a real-life situation. We cannot rely on the students. For example, uh, Alex, you need to submit your module and you need to answer your module ASAP. So we cannot force the students to answer it immediately because it is not... Uh, uh, Aralinks consider, uh, for example, there are consideration when it comes in the online class, like for example, we create modular learning and we create a blended learning and we create also a online class. Okay, so next is, Phoenix enables schools to develop a digital learning culture that promotes rich, relevant, motivating, and memorable learning experience. We are not, uh, we are not uh, allowing the students not left behind. We need the students to learn not to pressure to submit the modules, but memorable to learning that their experiences uh, for this LMS is uh, very nice, very good, uh, flexible, and there is collaboration between the teachers and the students because this is the very important process of communication that we need to collaborate one another. Okay, so also we need to consider uh, the parents' uh, collaboration also. Okay, so next is okay. So I will share to you. Uh, I will share to you 
uh, for my former school, which is the San Felipe Neri Catholic School, how the Aralings perform. Okay, so Aralings, you may apply it. Eh. Aralings can apply in public, private school because uh, it can pay or there is a... Uh, you need to apply as one institution. So then the teachers or educators and the students has their own account. Okay, for example, if the if your school uh, enrolled for the Phoenix Aralings as your LMS, so go to the Google Chrome and type the code for your school and Aralings.net login.index.ph. Okay, so after you click using the Google Chrome, so you need to use your username and your password. After you type your username and password, so you will go there. The you will go to the highlight of the Aralings. Okay, so the collaborative learning environment, the keep learning ongoing, and the school is one big adventure. So those are the example of the highlights of the Aralings using considered as the LMS this time of online learning. Okay, so for example, uh, if I will click the timeline, so usually there is a timeline, so uh, we need to use or we need to click only the subject. After I click the subject, so you will see a lot of sections and you will see a lot of subjects. Like for example, the Earth and Life Science, then the Empowerment Technology and Biology 1 and 2. Okay, so after I click the subject, so uh, if you click, for example, the grade 11 St. Bartholomew, you will go to this specific section. And after that, so click the ABMA, Urban Science, St. Matthew, St. Simon, the Empowerment Technology for St. James ICT for the second semester. Okay, so after you search the subject, so for example, uh, you will see an announcement, the summative test, the first long quiz, uh, the 9 and 10, and the final mod, uh, summative test module for 9 to 13. Okay, so after that, if you click the summative test, you will go there, uh, no, uh, you will go to a specific summative test, and you will see that if you really want to see the result of your student summative test, for example, the summative test, or for my summative test, it transfer about one hour. So after the one hour, so time limit, Okay, so after one hour, you will see the result. Okay, so if you click this uh, icon, so the result, and you will see the actual scores of the students. Okay, so if you really want to search, for example, Alexander in the first name, so you will go to Alexander. But if you really want to continue to search using the surname, so uh, De La Cruz, so you will go to De La Cruz Alexander, and you will see the scores. Okay, so this is the type of LMS that the teachers help to monitor the students if he or she uh, take the test or submit the modules or submit the activities. After that, if you really want to, to see the attached modules for this LMS, for example, I will click the St. Bartholomew, the Earth and Life Science, so you will see the the components or the content of the module is specifically the pre-test, sorry, the pre-test, the engaging, the module formation of the universe and the solar system, the learning manage, uh, the learning target, the self-check, the learning target for number two, then the assessment, then the reflection. Because uh, we need to be specific in dealing with uploading the module because we are not allowing to upload the entire module. Okay, so to be able to understand or to be able to clear to the students that there is a component of the module, so you need to upload the module from pretest to reflection. And the students will click, uh, for example, uh, please answer the pretest for one uh, for five minutes. Okay, so you use the uh, you can use the uh, no, uh, you can use the summative test or you can create another example of uh, another example of a summative test and the students reminds that there is a summative test or pretest for the specific module. 
Okay, so again, the components of the module, of our module, are pretest down to the reflection because we need to have a, uh, what you call this, uh, what you call this, the application to a relate situation. So, for example, in a reflection, so we include the Bible verse, the question, then the students answer what the, uh, what uh, is the reflection of this topic. Then, last uh, part of the module, the students will congratulate. Congratulations for finishing your module number one, and you may now proceed to module two. Okay, so those are the components of the module one uh, in my former school. Okay, so that is Aralinks. Aralinks again is used in the private school in the Philippines. So specifically uh, for in my former school. Okay, so number two example is the model. Okay, so model. Some universities and institution in the Philippines use model as a uh, LMS, okay, or learning management system because Model is considered as a user-friendly learning management that supports learning and training needs a wide range of institution and organization across the globe. So, meaning to say, not specifically in Asia, in Southeast Asia, in North America, in South America, but across the globe, model is used. Okay? Because model, models, modular nature, inherent flexibility that make an ideal platform for both academic and enterprise level and application to any size. Okay? So model can be used both academic and enterprise level of application. Next is, model is a free online learning management system or also known as the LMS or the VLE. Okay? So another meaning of model is a free and open source learning management system uh, uh, that is a model. Okay? So next is what are the benefits of using the model as a learning management system? Okay? So number one, as I said a while ago, user-friendly interface. Number two is of integration. Number three, there is a content management actually based on the example of the Aralinks, uh, Aralinks uh, module. So, there is a content management of the module. Okay? So, number three and uh, number four is of access because it is free and open source learning management system. After my presentation, I will teach you how to download or how to install the model using your Android or your Google apps or application store in your Android and using your personal computer or laptop. Okay, so blended learning features, uh, assessment and testing. Okay, so I will go back to my presentation here in Aralink. So there is a assessment. Okay, so under the assessment, there is three activity. Activity number lear, number one, learning target number one, and activity number two, learning target number two, then activity number three, learning target number three. Okay, so a specific assessment based on the learning targets. So, sir, what is the learning targets? Learning targets, it is considered or uh, what you call this? It is a considered as part of the objectives of your lesson or or of your module. For example, in my module, sometimes there is two learning competencies. Then you need to create a objectives and you need to create a learning target to be able to students to attain your goal. Okay. So next is uh, what uh, the advantage of model and why model considered as the world's best LMS. Okay, so let me read to you. The devel uh, developed in 2002 by Martin Dognang Mas, Model is originated as a platform to provide educators with the technology to provide a online learning personalized environments that foster interaction, inquiry and collaboration in private and public. 
Okay? Model sites, educators, trainers, employers, administrators can create and deliver a online course using the model. Okay? So, the, their respective audience can meet and exceed their learning goals for this type of LMS. Okay, so another example or another reason why Model considered as the world's best LMS, so 68 million user worldwide, larger than the United Kingdom's population, Model is hands down the most widely used learning management system by organizations that shapes and sizes. But Model's not the world's best. LMS just because it is widely used and model is the world's best LMS because based on the description of the model it is a ano, uh, it is a user friendly how about the other LMS sir so they are considered as friendly user interface uh, sometimes, like for example, my later presentation, the Big Blue Button, the MS Teams, the Google Meet, the, the Zoom application, so and so on and so forth. There is a lot of learning management system or online platforms that we can use in our online class. But the major problem is the internet connection. That is the very, very, very uh, common problem not only in uh, I think in the Philippines that there is a uh, sometimes uh, strong sometimes uh, weak sometimes lack of connection okay so next is model again model it is a open source uh, learning and model is supported by a global community okay so next is model is computable and highly flexible and feature rich those are the example of the uh, the reason why model considered as the world's best learning management system okay so some universities here in the Philippines use the model as the LMS okay so next is okay so as you can see in my PowerPoint presentation this is the official website of the model so how will you get there in uh, model so all you need to do is to use the Google Chrome and search the model.org after you use or after you search the model.org using the Google Chrome so you will go to uh, let me zoom in the model.org then after that after you click the model.org so you need to create download Okay, so create, download. So after you create, download, so install. Okay, so there is a lot. Of, I think there is a new update of the model. So I think my application or the latest version of my model account is 3.9.1 version. Okay, so again, uh, you need to search the model.org using the Google Chrome. Then after that, you need to click the download and install. After you install the application or the model 3.9.1, so you will see this. Okay, so if you use your MacBook, so click the model installer package for Mac OS 10, or if you use the uh, Windows, for example, Windows 10, you need to click the model installer package for Windows. After you click the model installer package for Windows, so you need to download. Okay, so basic, uh, basic knowledge, so you need to download the application, but I think the, the applications that I downloaded is the model 3.1 uh, 3.9.1 3 that is stable so I need to download the 3.9.1 then after I download so you will see the uh, the link okay so all you need to do is to to click 
to click download here and after you click so you will see our uh, uh, this for example uh, the download zip okay so you will see uh, you need to finish this download then after you finish the download so uh, you will see the model okay so the model you need to click the model then after you click the model so you need to click the model um start model or stop model okay so for example ayan uh, you need to click start model and stop model upon downloading your mode uh, model application as your learning uh, management system but take note you need to apply as one institution you need to you don't need to apply as individual okay so who's the student you who is the teacher you okay so all you need to do is to apply as a community or as one institution as your learning management system okay so next is after that so so you will see the this uh message so you need to continue then after that so before before the end of your process of the downloading the model so you need to go to the google chrome and you need to search the local host okay so after you search the local host so until you finish the installation okay so after you you just click next if you see the installation so you read 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 read, read and after that you need to click next then after that you will see the common paths so continue just continue then click next then after you click next so there is up the appearance of the database so after that the database system uh, needed your uh, no, uh, you needed your password okay so just uh, enter your password and click next so Take note, don't forget your password or else you will not uh, log in to your mobile account. Okay, so after that, again, you need to create your password and click next. And after that, you will continue the process of installation of mobile and done. Okay, so you have your own account or you have your own model account. Okay, so again, you, you need to search or using the Google Chrome, you need to sign up or you need to uh, to download the application. Then after you download the application, so you need to uh, next, 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 then please read the instruction. And after that, so continue. Then there you go. So you have your own account using the model as a learning management system. So that's yeah okay so same process because in ara links there is a uh, calendar there is announcement there is a reminder so same process or same uh ls like uh, ara links phoenix okay but model is considered as a user-friendly uh, interface application or software Okay, so after that, after you install your model, so you can create your course here or you can download your files or you can download your uh, presentation or you can download your exam or you can download your activities for your online class. Okay, so that is a model as a learning management system. Okay, so number three example of common uh lms that we can use this time of online learning or this time of pandemic so the microsoft teams microsoft teams is a collaboration applications that helps your team to stay organized and have conversation in one place okay so for example sir uh, how about the google classroom or the google uh, the zoom there is uh do you think there is an organized and have a con have a conversation in one place so i think there is a organized and have a good conversation using the some uh, online platforms but this microsoft teams is a collaboration application okay so next is again the microsoft teams is a free version of teams includes the following unlimited chat message and search 
built in online meetings in audio and video calling for individuals and groups with duration up to 60 minutes per call how about the other uh, other applications so i think there is a 40 minutes after the 40 minutes there is a cup then after this duration so you need to to sign in again and you need to to you will provide another 40 minutes if you really want to have a continuous discussion during your online class you need to upgrade this application okay so next is the microsoft team is excellent internal collaboration where area zoom is often preferred a working externally okay so please take note that microsoft teams is excellent for internal collaboration while for the zoom is it preferred for working external for example whether that there is customers or guests or vendors because they integrate with each other okay so that's the point we need to integrate and we need to collaborate one another okay so that is the microsoft tips okay so what are the benefits of using the microsoft teams number one so productive productivity gains and enriched communication number two better focus on your work number three increase transparency okay so seamless move uh, to digital workplace uh, again some universities use the ms teams for assessment like for example in uh, taking the comprehensive exam or in taking the uh, different types of exam they use the microsoft teams because it increases the transparency okay so that new team members can more quickly get up to speed and that is microsoft teams okay so what are the disadvantages of using the microsoft teams number one difficult transition from outlook okay so number two is structures structure of file confuse user specifically if you are the beginner okay so number three not optimal online meeting experience in the adoption the number four challenges regarding the permission settings okay we are familiar in google meet because in the some schools you they use the google classroom or the google meet and some schools use the zoom as a uh, online platforms platforms that can uh, that can be used during the online class but the lms they're using some model or big blue button the model and so on and so forth there's a lot of learning management system okay so i will discuss the common uh, learning management system number five limited flexibility that can lead to manual replications so those are the examples or those are the disadvantages of using the microsoft teams okay so again so i will teach you how to create a microsoft teams okay so but if you have your google account so it is easy eh, or it is easy to create a ms teams okay so here is this uh, uh, tagline for example sign up and create teams free organized or organization org with a microsoft account okay so creating and managing microsoft uh, teams number one again you go to the google chrome and you need to search the www.microsoftteams.com and if you have a account so you need to sign in but if you are the beginner and if you really want to create a, your Microsoft Teams, you need to sign up for free. Okay, so again, you need to apply as one institution, not a individual. Okay, so next is yeah, you need to sign up for free. And after that, so closer, so teams.microsoft.com or you can search the microsoftteams.com using the google chrome and after that you will see after you click the teams that microsoft.com or the uh, microsoft teams.com so you will see this uh, this uh, page so you will see the conversation the notification bell the message or the chat the conversation and so on and so forth so all you need to do is to click the use 
the web or uh, the web application instead okay Be uh, before using the ms team okay again some schools in the philippines they are using the ms teams for uh taking the exam okay so after that sorry okay so after that after after you click the the application sorry the use web application so you will go to this area so general there is a teams for example the uh, activity valentine team so there is a team here and after that if you really want to click uh mythical or for example i will click here here so you will go to this area so if you really want to for example uh, i need to chat my students because uh, i will remind them to submit the activity so for example example so there is a chat or there is a message all you need to do is to click this uh, op, uh this icon reply and you will reply to this specific person or if you really want to a specific person at sign okay so you need to create a at sign to be able to remind this people or individual that there is a reminder or if you really want to remind all your employees or all of your section or all of your students you need to create uh, uh you need to type at and for example stem 11 so the stem students will remind that there is a reminder that that there is a assessment that they need to finish uh, within the day or tomorrow or and so on and so forth okay so after that uh, you need to create your team but if you really want to uh, uh, join a team with a code or you need to create a team okay so after that after you create your team so you will see uh, a lot of icons visa inside the creating a team okay so after that so there is a onboard employees because this is the uh, example of the ms team okay so after that uh, i will uh, click the onboard employees then you will see under the onboard employees that there uh, there is a four channels the general the announcement the employee chat the trainings that the uh, and there is three there uh, are three there is sorry applications communities uh, task planners and to do and wiki okay so under the onboard employees okay so after that you need to start then after you start, if you really want to publicize your team, you can create or you can click the public or you can click your uh, public, public or private. It depends upon with your team. Okay. So after that, you need again, again, you need to start and so on and so forth. Okay. So after that, so you need to have a create. Okay, so you need to create, create lang. And after that, you will see a lot of uh, group or teams here in this area. Okay, so after that, uh, you need to have a general. After you need to, after you click the general, so you need to have a conversation. Okay, so again, that is the example of the third, ex uh, that is the example of the learning management system. Okay, so yeah, and so as you can see, there is a reminder. Okay, so yeah, so there is a message. So if you really want to uh, reply, so click this icon. Or if you really want to have your new conversation, you need to click the new conversation. Okay, so again, you can drag a files. For example, uh, my students need a file. So or the students. Uh, attach a file so yes uh, you can drag the files here in this conversation okay so after you drag a file so yeah so you can reply and you can drag the file your training documents and after that you need you can upload you can upload or you can create another example of the chat 
or you can sync or copy link or you can download uh, applications or video or presentations you need uh, click upload and create link okay so again that is the example of the ms tips okay so next again if you really want to uh, if you really want to use the ms teams you need to apply as one institution okay because uh ms teams increase the transparency okay so some some lms or some applications uh they cannot uh, increase the transparency when it comes in internal collaboration okay so this time of pandemic so we use uh, M MS Teams as a learning management system. Okay, so the number three example of the learning management system is the big blue button. What is a big blue button? Big blue button provides a quality audio videos in screen sharing using the browser's built-in support for web a real-time communication that is a code libraries then webrtc is standard supported to all major browsers including the google chrome the firefox the safari and the safari mobile okay so the big blue button again it is a open source web conferencing solution for online learning okay so again big blue button an open source web conferencing solution for online learning so you have an idea na ah can we suggest to the school that can we use the big blue button as a, a web conferencing but again you need to consider there is a lot of consideration when it comes in using the different types of lms Okay, so there is a, a lot of factors. For example, the students is lack of internet connection. The students is there is a, a speed internet connection. How will you support the students with, la, uh, with lack of internet connection? And that is, that is a time uh, there is a modular or blended learning. Okay, so big blue button is another another uh, option for online class. Okay, so again, so big blue button is one of the most stable, free, and open source software solution for video conferencing and good alternative to Zoom. Later on, so you will try. So uh, I'm confused. Can I try the big blue button after this conference? So you can try the big blue button okay so as a, a good alternative to zoom application okay so it's an open source web conferencing tool developed for distance education again there is a lot of uh, lms lms so that we can can be used in online class so distance to help to develop the distance education and again, the big blue button also exists a plugin that can be integrated with model, which makes it particularly interesting tool for those who use this platform. Okay, so again, there is a lot of learning management system or applications that we can use or during our online class, but we as educators uh, we need to have to, uh, we need to become more resourceful and how the teachers will effective educator and efficient educator this time of pandemic we need to help the students during this time of pandemic but also as educator we need also to help ourselves to learn something new about the different types of the learning or the online learning platforms okay so again that is the big blue button okay so what are the disadvantages of the big blue button okay so 
Okay, so the disadvantage of the big blue button, so the big blue button is a rebel tendency to freeze up in this third video. So that is the number one disadvantages of using the big blue button. Okay, so next is what are the big blue button allows? It holds meetings with video to do whiteboard styles in presentations uh, in Google uh, in Google Classroom or Gmail. So, yeah. So next is okay. So yeah. So again, you can use the Google Chrome to search the big blue button. Then after that, you can use your Google account. Then log in. So after you log in, so you use your Google account or if you have the MS365 account or sign in with the Twitter account, okay? So after that, you will go to the home room and you will see that, that there is there are uh, icons. Then you need to start and after that, so there is a link. So then you need to copy the link and submit to your students or GC to your students to uh, to enter to your classroom then after that you need to start then you will see the three buttons so that indicates that your class will start okay so after that so you use your microphone the limited only and so and so uh, allow always allow so to be able to use your microphone and camera okay so that is the example of the big blue button okay so again uh, the big blue button is another example of the online uh, learning platforms. Okay, so you can download or you can drag a file or presentations here in the big blue button. Same with uh, the Google Classroom or another LMS. Okay, so you can drag a files or presentation or video. So all you need to do is to drag and uh, attach. Okay, so that is the big blue button. And after that, you need to create new meeting, uh, click the three uh, three buttons and new meeting or sign out. Then after that, same uh, same uh, process with the Google Classroom. There is a feedback, so you need to feedback uh, again. So if you if your ed teacher is highly effective, so you need to rate your teacher or five stars or four stars. Depend uh, it depends upon your student's response or feedback. Okay, so number. Uh, the second to the last is the Canva. Again, the Canva, it is a free gra graphic uh, design platform that allows to create a easy invent in invitation, business cards, flyers, uh, Zoom backgrounds, and so on and so forth for professional and design templates. Okay, so Canva makes uh, branding images as simple as drag or drop. Okay, so you can use your... Uh, uh, this ano, uh, applications okay so are you familiar naman for the canva so what are the benefits free design platforms uh, is to use multiple templates download options are awesome so many templates and options to use and uh, for design then canva forever okay so again you can use your google account for uh, downloading the canva as your uh, online platforms so to create your presentations, invitation, flyers, or poster. Okay, you may log in. Then after you log in, you can use your Google account. So my name is Delacaros Alexander, 550, continue. And yeah, so you can create your Google account and create, uh, click create design. And uh, after that, you will see all your designs here. Okay, so that is the example of the uh, Canva. Okay, the last example is the Prezi. Prezi is a presentation tools alternative to traditional slides, like for example, the PowerPoint presentation instead of using slide. Okay, so web-based tool that allows users to create presentation using a map layout. Okay, so if you really want to create a creative presentation, you need to, create, uh, you need to uh, use Canva or Prezi. Okay, advantage, the variety of templates, completely free, link and images with Zoom, appropriate for all age, up-to-date technology, and do your presentation in unique ways. Okay, so can it work? Okay, so what are the disadvantages of Prezi, confusing layout, paid offline access, limited data visualization? 
Okay, so you may use your Google account in uh, using the present. Okay, so and after that, you will the email, the Gmail will send you a notification that you will uh, got it and you will notify that uh, you have already a Google uh, Prezi account. Okay, so again, your verify email address, then that is the Prezi uh, component or 